Hey, this is Carrie Canary Quilts, and this is the last week of the 30 Days of Improv Quilt Along. And if you follow me, you've seen my, probably seen my other blocks here that I've done. Um, first week was stripes, second week was L shapes, third week was triangles, fourth week is, cur or, yeah, fourth week is curves. And uh, here's my curves. <laughs> This was challenging to me for some reason. I don't remember this being so challenging, but you'll probably see why it was challenging. Um, I kind of put some constraints on myself this time that I didn't last year, so um, I'm still very happy with the blocks. They turned out really cool. Um, but it's a learning experience. It really does um, help you learn to work with curves. Um, if you're not familiar with it or you're uncomfortable with it, this is a great way without a pattern, without um, having to be perfect, to teach yourself to work with curves. So um, it did help that way with me. It just kind of refreshed me and I was like, oh yeah, I have to clip the inside corners to help me make these curves and just make your own instead of looking at a little pattern and having to fit it perfectly this way you can just practice I guess it's just great practice for curves anyway I'm gonna show you each day you can watch my process I think it's fun watching processes and I hope you do too I just kind of fast forward through it and let me know what you think let me know if you see me take a turn that's like oh you wouldn't have done that or whatever I mean, it is improv. Nothing's wrong about it. So, also let me know if you're doing this. Um, I have the names of Shannon Fraser Designs and Broadcloth Broad Studio in the description below. They're the ones hosting this quilt along. And um, it's been a lot of fun. It was last year and it is this year. So, hit the subscribe button, notification bell, and uh, you can see me do it next year or you can just do all the other fun stuff we got going along here. So, let's get started with my curves. Alright, this week we're working on curves and today is just getting comfortable with curves and I was thinking I was going to have to pull out some bigger pieces, but you know what? I don't have to. I can make my own big pieces by sewing some rows together, which is what I think I'm going to do. So I'm going to start with sewing some rows together, get myself some nice big pieces to work with, and then start working with some curves. There's my first one. Um, yeah, just kind of worked with curves. This is a great way if you're uncomfortable with curves to work with them because you don't have to be so precise. You're just doing whatever you want. You're putting your curves in your machine. I went ahead and clipped the inside curve, which helped me kind of put it through my machine a little straighter. And this is what I got, kind of cool. So that was the first day, just getting ready for curves and tomorrow is small piecing. Eee, that's always scary. Everything's scary, but it's always fun too. Just that's all, this is all I think about when I work on it. All right, today is small piecing. So let's see what I come up with. Last year I did a lot of small piecing because I just was really not sure what to do and this year I seem to be doing bigger piecing. So let's go smaller.
right. I'm not sure how successful I was with that. I felt like that was getting out of control, so I started bordering it out. And I didn't have enough over here, so I added this curve. But, I don't know, I guess it always turns out kind of cool. I always think it's like getting out of control, but I don't know. Looks like I kind of got a triangle and curves. So anyway, that was my attempt at small. Let's see how I do the rest of the week. Eee. All right, today is break out of the standard curve and add a bigger hump to your curves. See how that varies the look and shape of your blocks. Okay. There's my uh, bigger hump curves. I like it. That was fun. It's this week's, I think what's difficult or challenging this week is um, with the curves, trying to figure out where you're headed. Um, and sometimes I'm not headed in the direction I think I'm headed, if that makes any sense. So. I tend to, I think I want to like start framing things out like I did, but I don't know. That kind of looks abstract looking. All right. Third day is done. Let's go on to the fourth. All right. Today is slice and dice day. Let's see what I want to do. So. What new shapes can you create by slicing your waves up is what they say. So let's start working with some colors and getting myself some waves to work with.
long time to get to the slice. <laughs> but I just wasn't sure. I wanted to give myself some, I wanted to build up some pieces to be able to slice. And then when I got there, I was like, nah, I'll just do quarters. And then kind of rearranged them. I kind of like this shape here. That's kind of cool. But there you go, slice and dice. And I'm finding this week to be a little more creatively challenging, I guess. Um, having a hard time seeing where the curves are going to take me. But anyway, day five is wild card, which I feel like I've been doing wild card every day. <laughs> All right, today's wild card. I don't know what I'm gonna do, but I'm gonna give it a shot here. Right, there's my wild card. I'm going to be honest, I think every day this week was a wild card. Um, it's really challenging um, doing curves and knowing where you're going. It's hard for me to see for some reason. I need to do more of them to get used to it. But here are all my curves for this week. Honestly, I kept myself within the constraints of my jelly roll, which probably was making things very difficult. But that's what I did. Um, if I had bigger pieces, I might be able to work a little, have a little more that I could do, but this is what I got. It does help you learn how to sew curves, too. Um, I always clipped my inner circle here, and that helped me put it together. So if you're, if you're wanting to work on curves, this improv is a great way to do it and practice. Anyway, this has been a lot of fun. I will do it next year too. I did it last year. It really teaches me a lot. Um, it, it takes my mind off a lot of stuff and I do get some beautiful blocks out of it. It, it, is, it really is a very beautiful way to quilt and um, be creative and there's no mistakes here none whatsoever so i hope you had fun i had a lot of fun doing this hit the subscribe button notification bell if you want to watch all the other fun stuff i got going on and um i'll see you in the next video bye